Modeling a realistic ship takes much time and a lot of details. If you don't want to spend months modeling that like I did about one year ago, you might want to try the following method. For that, you need a good, high quality image of a ship, best from the side. Depending on what you need it for, you have to pay attention to the image license. That is why I took mine from Pixabay. Then load it into a camera and adjust the render resolution to be the same as that of the image. By using camera to view, start modeling the very basic shapes and try to match the perspective and focal length. It does not have to be perfect, but the better you can match it, the easier it will get later on. Create a material and add the image to the base color. Then inside the camera view press U, project from view to have the image projected onto your model. This way you will get lots of details for free and just have to block in the main shapes so that the shadows are correct when adding a light. For stuff that is not seen on the image, you can always get in some different textures. You can improve your material by also using the image as a roughness and bump map. Even with this method, you still have to model quite a bit, so a good tip is to put on some music or podcasts and just start modeling. Also, make sure to look at some other references to get the proportions and details right.
If the perspective does not match, you can always push around the UVs later on in the UV editor. The important thing is it looks nice in the viewport. You don't have to match the image completely, especially for the rope it's quite hard and you can't really use the image as a texture anyway. A tip here is to first model the ropes with simple vertices and then use the skin modifier to add thickness. It often is enough to just use a simple color for the material depending on how close they are seen. Model the rest of the deck by looking at some references. For the textures you can use parts of the original image or just get some new textures. For even more details you can model some very basic crates, barrels or other stuff and again use project from view to project images on top of the model. Then distribute them wherever you think makes sense. To get some quick weathering effect, you can use a concrete leaking texture and multiply it on top of the base color. I used a gradient to just have it shown at the bottom of the ship. In the end, it just depends on how far you want to push it. I, for my part, added some more ropes and sails, but kept the deck quite simple. I also adjusted the colors of the image since it was too vibrant for my taste. In the end I added an ocean and a background and called it a day. <laughs> 